This was written by Amy Picky on October 31st, 2020 at 1046 in the morning. Doesn't say which day. All right, they're saying here they hope that lawmakers reach an agreement on a fresh round of COVID-19 relief before the presidential election. But that that's not going to happen. They're not going to return again until November the 9th. So we know that we have at least until November the 9th before they pass a stimulus bill. Uh, the House Democrats and the Trump administration had narrowed their differences over another stimulus package with the latest proposal approaching $2 trillion, including $1,200 stimulus checks and an extension of enhanced federal unemployment benefits. Hmm. <clears throat> Senate Republicans have made clear their opposition to the size of the package. Hmm. I wonder why. Now, what these people are not telling you guys is that they're literally trying to launder money to their own organizations. For some reason, the stimulus proposal, the amount of money that, that they're using for the stimulus is always changing. But the amount of money they're trying to give to us stays the same, 1200 bucks. That literally tells you that they're trying to use most of the so-called stimulus package money for their friends or their CEOs in these billion-dollar companies, trillion-dollar companies. They don't care about us. They don't care about us at all. They've already agreed 1200 bucks for the people. It's been 1200 bucks since January. But for some reason, the size of the actual stimulus package has disagreements. Hmm. Who are they trying to give money to? What businesses, what corporations, or what people are they trying to send money to? Maybe they're trying to increase their salaries. Who knows? But they all, But for some reason, they're still talking about $1,200 for us. Why not $5,000? Why not $10,000 for the American people? Why is it still 1200 bucks? Hmm. Hmm. But the, for some reason, the news is trying to keep you guys distracted on, oh, they, don't, they can't pass a stimulus bill. Oh, these guys can't, they can't help the American people with a stimulus package. But the truth is, they're literally fighting over how much money they should give their friends or how much money should they give themselves. Hmm. Hmm. Nancy Pelosi said on Thursday reveals several areas that are still unresolved in talks with the Trump administration. Hmm. Indicating the two sides remain far apart on another measure designed to provide assistance to American families. Hmm. See, they're trying to keep us, the, the American people, focused on, oh, these guys haven't decided on how much money they're going to give for a stimulus check. When this whole time it's been 1200 bucks. So it's not the stimulus check that they're having disagreements with. It's how much money they want. I could say how much money they want to give their friends or the CEOs or the businesses or the companies or how much of a salary bump they want to give each other. That's what they're really fighting over. There are hidden details in this stimulus bill that Donald Trump, President Trump doesn't agree with and the Republicans don't agree with. That's what they're not telling you in this news. But that is the truth. There are hidden agendas in these bills that they're trying to sign into law that Trump is blocking. It's crazy. But they but they want to keep people focused on, oh, the American people need money. They need money. They need money. Yes, we do need money. But they're trying to put their own agendas into these bills. I remember President Trump has said if they if they just put in their the actual COVID-19 relief bill, he would sign it overnight. But they're not. They're adding in extra fluff for themselves. They're probably trying to give themselves a paid vacation for the next 30 years. Look at this. Pelosi placed the blame for the ongoing stalemate squarely on the Trump administration. That is actually good. It's actually good that the Trump administration is blocking these bills because these guys are putting in their, their own hidden agendas. Wow arguing that the Democrats still have not received the word on compromise language for strategic testing, tracing, and treatment plan, vaccines, and Obamacare coverage. 
See, they're keeping us focused on emotionalism and semantics, worried about, oh, treatment plans, vaccines, ooh, tracing, while at the same time, in the fine print, they got their own, they got their own agendas in there. Oh, I'm going to give myself an extra $50,000 raise over the next 10 years. Wow. Okay. President Donald Trump earlier this month urged Congress to pass a stimulus bill ahead of November the 3rd election. That's what he's trying to do. Trump is literally trying to pass a bill that's going to help the American people. But everybody else is focused on themselves. Like I say, the, the, the simplest way you can tell is that, okay, the stimulus bill amount keeps changing. Oh, $5 trillion, $2 trillion. They can't agree on the amount. But the amount they're trying to give the American people hasn't changed one bit. It's still 1200 bucks. Hmm. Wow. But these news people, see, look, it's all about the point of view that you look at the situation. They want the American people to look at it from the wrong point of view. The real point of view is where's all that, where's all this money going that they're trying to pass? Look at this, $500 billion, $1.8 trillion, and $2.2 trillion. What we do know is we still get 1200 bucks, no matter how much money they give. Whether it's $500 billion or $2 trillion, they're still going to give us $1,200. Hmm. Frontage schools, fun for testing and tracing. Hmm. All right, then. Well, that's all, guys, and have a good day.